Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things and it is day 20 of my 30 day eBay challenge where I try to make $1,000 profit on eBay without any sourcing, using only items that are already in my death pile and getting those listed and other strategies for items that are currently listed in my store to try to bring my store back to life ahead of holiday shopping, Black Friday, everything like that. You know, it's... I'm probably not gonna make my goal, but I'm still trying. Stay tuned. Welcome back, I hope everyone is doing well. It is Liz and for anyone that's new here, I have challenged myself with a 30 day challenge, trying to bring my eBay store back to life, get the algorithm moving, get the sales happening again after I sort of let it fall off for a few months. I did the same thing with my eBay channel. I just got overwhelmed and I had too much going on and I wasn't listing consistently. I wasn't sending offers. I wasn't running promotions. I just wasn't nurturing my store. And so this 30 day challenge has just been about bringing my store back to life. Also moving items out of my death pile. Um, I love to source. I think a lot of us love to source. And if I have a death pile full of inventory that I have not listed for sale in my basement, like I do, that's just cash sitting in my basement. What, what a waste of money. Like not, not good business, right? Not, not best practice when it comes to business. So I've been sort of forcing myself to work through that. I have also implemented new strategies that I hadn't tried before, like ending old listings and selling the same items sell similar on eBay. And it's been quite incredible. I have items that have been in my store for two years and I have items that sell right away and then I have items that just sit. Sometimes with no watchers, no views, like there's nothing happening on that item. So I tried a strategy that everyone suggested in the comments where I end the listing, I sell similar, <laughs> the exact same item with the same photos and the same everything. Details, description, all the same and it sells. It is crazy. So it's been really positive in terms of I am back to selling a couple items a day. There was a point where I was selling five to 10 items a day. And then as I let my store fall off, I was going several days without a sale. So let me quickly update you on what sold. I am actually a day behind, I apologize. I am actually, this is, I'm gonna update you on two days because I just couldn't get myself motivated enough to film a video yesterday. But uh, the first, yesterday I had four sales. So I sold four shirts all the same. I way back won a liquidation of Members Mark polo shirts. They were all different colors and all different sizes. I have a video, I will link it here where I actually show you when I won this listing. I was like really excited when I won this auction of a bulk lot of these Members Mark shirts. And then I went a full year without selling a single one. They were not moving. And then I don't know if they just disappeared off the market, if you can't buy them from Walmart or members mark anymore or what happened, but suddenly in the last six months, those shirts have started selling. I think I, not a hundred percent, but I think I have, I had close to a hundred of them. And I was starting to panic. Like they're taking up a lot of space, but those have started moving. So I sell a few of those a week now, which is totally awesome. So yesterday I actually sold four of them. I sold three to one buyer and they bought all the same color in different sizes. And then I sold one to another buyer. Now, I do have a sale running in my store right now, which is part of this process, right? And I already don't make a lot of money on those shirts. I figured out that in order for those to move, they've gotta be listed at $9.99 with free shipping. Now, after my cost of goods and the fees, I'm not making a ton on those, but it was a rather large investment when I got them. And so I'm just happy to be making a few bucks, a couple bucks on each and move them out, right? So I sold four of those. For the first three, my profit was $8.73. Now that one was helpful because I had three shirts going out in one package. So instead of paying individual first class shipping on three packages, I paid one flat rate shipping for all three. So that brought my profit back up actually, right? Because I had less shipping charges that I was paying. So for those three, I made $8.73. On the second shirt, which was just one shirt, I made $1.09. Now that is with, at a lower rate, it's about $1.50 less than I normally charge for those. And with the shipping, I walked away with $1.09 on the second one. So total for that day yesterday was $9.82, which I'm totally happy with. I am not about to complain about $9.82. Uh, shipped those off yesterday and then 
The two orders that I am packing up to go out today are, the first one is actually, this is actually international. I don't think you can see the info, but uh, this is going international to Jerusalem. And it is one of these Kendall and Kylie little credit card holders. Another, I won these or won an auction at a liquidation house and I got a ton of these and a ton of makeup brush holders from Kendall and Kylie and they don't move. They don't sell. I can't move them to save my life, but this one sold and it's going to Jerusalem. So super happy. So I'm just going to seal that up. I did put the labels on already just to be proactive. And then the second item that sold is a DVD. This is Jennifer eight and it is new and sealed. And this one is going to Pennsylvania. And you know, I'm just going to put this in one of my eBay bubble mailers that I get every quarter. And that is ready to go out on the Kendall and Kylie little thing that was also purchased on sale. Um, I made $3.53 after fees and what it costs to for me to purchase it in the first place. The nice thing there is the buyer paid shipping. He paid international shipping. So um, I don't have that shipping cost coming out. So I made $3.53 and on Jennifer 8 I made $2.95. So my total for today is $6.48. So not as good as the day before, but my combined total for the two days is $15.68. I'm excited to share this. <laughs> that makes my running total on day 20, actually 21. Shh. My running total on day 20 is $205.44. That is my profit after 20 days of this experiment. Now, $2.05 doesn't sound that awesome, right? If I'm trying to make a thousand, I'm like not even a quarter of the way there. But what is happening is I am getting regular daily sales again. I am seeing a lot more viewers and watchers on my items. I am getting offers on items that weren't getting offers before. And so in terms of the algorithm as we move into the prime holiday shopping season, I feel really good. Of course, I didn't make, I didn't, I'm not going to make the thousand dollars that was my original goal here, but I'm not about to complain because what I've done is sort of brought my store back to life. The same thing has happened with YouTube. I really was getting no views. My views were down. My revenue per month was down or my profit, I guess. And that's the thing about YouTube. It really requires consistency. It's okay if you're only uploading once a week, but you have to upload once a week. And I went almost two months without uploading. So that has been a process and I have been trying to upload four to five times a week, which is not easy. That is time consuming. That is, there is the time to film it, to plan it, to prepare it, to edit it, to upload it, to make a thumbnail. There's a lot that goes into it but my views are up. Um, I am definitely showing up to new people, which is exciting. I don't know if you're new here. Thank you for being here. I hope it's been interesting. Um, but that's been really positive for my YouTube channel. And I think that's part of what is so important anytime you're doing a side hustle, whether you're selling on eBay, whether you're making YouTube videos, whether you're doing Instagram reels or TikToks uh, for money, which there is a lot of money in that right now. Consistency always seems to be key this stuff. They want to see consistency. And I think that's true if you're selling on Amazon. I think that's true if you're selling on eBay. But anytime there's an algorithm involved in what you're doing, consistency, I, I swear, is and should be top priority. So it's been really positive. I know a lot of you have challenged yourselves to 30 day challenges and there's been a lot of different goals. And I am really excited. I'm just so excited every time you guys share in the comments, like what it is that you're working on and what your personal challenge has been and what kind of results you're seeing. It's been really exciting. I'm so sorry. My dog really wants to play right now. So in all, I mean, it's obviously not a, I'm, I don't get to share with you like, oh my God, in 30 days, I turned my eBay store around and made a thousand dollars profit. I wish that was what I was sharing with you, but I do always share it with the truth with you guys. And that is, I'm not making the profit that I wanted to make, but it's still been really awesome and I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too, because I have really enjoyed doing it. I am thinking about doing a little 
Black Friday sort of sales video. Like what are my favorite things that are going on sale for Black Friday? I don't know. Tell me if that sounds interesting or not. Because if it sounds super boring, I don't have to do it. But it was just a thought. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you guys posted on what sells and what's moving. And you know, we're almost at the end of the challenge. And I am not going to lie, I'll probably skip day 21 tomorrow and go straight to day 22 because I shared day 21 and day 22 today. So that's the truth. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't liked and you'd like to like, that would be awesome. It totally tells the YouTube algorithm that this is interesting. It helps me as a creator. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be even cooler. So thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Uh, we have a huge storm headed to Buffalo. Like they're saying we could have up to six feet. So little winter prep going on here, getting ready for that. But thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.